more progress on the instructions that I have after number 30 on the pictorial guide. It's right after you've glued the, the lowest deck on. It shows to install C2, C3, D2, and D5. So I've located the D placard. It's all of these with these little triangular shapes. And you can see the outcropping here that will fit in the grooves on the deck to form each of those individual compartments. So I'll begin on that in a moment. The other part is C, and that's this small one. Kind of has a dolphin looking piece there. And on this, all we're going to start out needing is two and three, I believe. Right, and they're just these two little cross members here. So, I've made some good progress. You can see I have all these bones in place. What I've started doing is I bought a tray compartment and I'm going to cut all these C, there's C2 and 3. I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these out and just mark them with masking tape as to what numbers they are. Out of this panel, this is the D section. However, so far it's not clear if these inside panels come out. The actual D is the outside framing and that's where it's going to go and hook into the deck. I'm going to assume that these triangular parts, that entire section comes out and leaves this open. One special note on these uh, cell doors, you do not want to sand off the little latch that goes into, here see the cutout for it, I accidentally sanded one of them off. But there they are in place. If you really wanted to get creative, I bet you could put a little uh, hitch pin in here and open and close those doors. Here's the progress so far. These are D2, I believe, on this side. D5 on that side. D5 would be towards the back part of the ship, and it's actually double-sized. So I have the, the uh, doors to put door and bars to put on that side. That's what I'm working on right here. The key to installing the the, I'll call them uh, jail cells on this card D is that each one of these little tabs are a different size. Actually there's a pair of different sizes so that'll help match up where they actually go on the ship and then there are four that go in on these and that's where it's been tricky for me but I think I've figured it out and once you do then they'll all fit properly. So that is quite a trick and here's one of those L-shaped ones where I found it goes there so I'm thinking it's in this walkway is where they are for the most part. I've started putting some of these cross members in. I set a few last night and then put rubber bands in to help hold this together so it's nice and tight. Okay, the L-shaped piece that I talked about earlier, I have determined that two of them go, this, this will be looking into the ship, so this is the side of the ship you look into, and actually they're on both sides of this hallway, this hallway, they're both to the left as you're looking at the screen. And then from what I can determine, the other two L-shapes will also go on the same side right in here and the opposite you can see way over there. That's the only place they would fit. Another quick piece of advice don't use super glue in this area because it sets up too fast. Sometimes these are a little squirrely and hard to get into position. So I'm using the tacky glue and then just clamp it and once I get these uh, last two pieces in, this one and the one that goes over there, I'll let it dry. I decided not to attach these to those L-shaped pieces as of yet, just for ease of installation. So once this sets up, I'll put the rest of them in. So far it's looking good. It, Like I've said over and over again, it's been a little bit confusing. 
but I am managing and hopefully this will help anyone else that's trying to build this particular ship. I have almost everything glued in place. The rubber bands are for the support beams that go across so I'm holding these in a little snug. One thing I should point out these are um, parts C1 and C2. They go underneath the supports for the next uh, deck. I didn't put them in right away. I was able to slide them under, but you'll want to decide whether you put these in before you rest those two uh, beams. 12 and 13. I think that's 12 and 13A on that. So there's four of those there. I'll be aware of more of them. I think on the next deck has more, but I think on this lowest deck, that's the only two. Now you can see my chain and shackles. You can move them to different positions and maybe slightly glue them down or just let them dangle. I'll pick whatever jail cell or dungeon or whatever you want to call it. And I'll slip it through. I'll make sure it's going to work. There, pull through. And again, I'll just take a drop of super glue. I'm going to back this out. I'm going to put some super glue on that. And I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to let that sit there and dry. Once it's dry, I'll come with these snips, and on the back side, I'll cut off that little piece of copper wire that I used to pull it through. You can add as many as you want. And here's that back side I was talking about. And what I'll do is take these snips as close as I can get it. Snip that off. And you can see these are fine. They're not going to go anywhere. They won't pull out. Very happy. This is the lowest level completed except for whatever extras I want to add. You can see I've put in the shackles. I left one prison door open. So this is what it should look like. There's still some oops. There's still some pieces that go on the front as far as the bones of it, but uh, most everything is in place. I'm going to work on electrical wiring on this level. You can see where I've tried to put some holes. I'll stain those dark, but I don't think they'd show anyway. In closing out this segment, I just wanted to review that I've got the chains and shackles in place. I've also added a mop and a spilled bucket. And that's something area that I'm gluing and then you may see in the background this is uh, electrical wiring. What I've done is taken some solid copper copper wire and run it all along both sides and then I'll branch off of that for my lights. One will be the positive lead which will be the lighter colored copper and the older copper will be the negative. So I hope that works out pretty well but you can see it's coming along. Some things I'm real happy with. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part four. And that'll be once I complete the lights and I'll be putting the next deck